Hello, hello, Hannah the Suburban Witch here, and today we are doing episode two of my series on developing your psychic senses. Today we are going to work on your clear audience or clear hearing. In today's episode, we're going to go over what is clear audience, some herbs and crystals that can help you develop your clear audience, and some exercises that we can do together to help develop this psychic sense. If you're new to my channel, I'm Hannah the Suburban Witch, an intuitive tarot reader and astrologer, and I love sharing my witchy tips with you all here on YouTube. I release a video every Wednesday, so make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss one. You can also find me over on TikTok, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook, so make sure to jump onto those platforms as there's lots of other content you don't want to miss. What is Claire Audience? So as we know, clear means clear, audience means hearing, so clear hearing. And this is our spiritual or psychic sense that we are using to hear things. There are a few ways that this can come through that I'll take you through right now. The first way is with your physical ears. So this may be literally hearing a voice. So this could be from your guides, a loved one. If you have mediumship abilities, this could be somebody else's loved one that has passed on or a ghost and you're hearing them speak to you in your ear. Now this is, as I said before, with clairvoyance, when you're seeing things physically with your eyes, the physical hearing with your ears is a little more rare. So if you are having that, then you definitely have a gift. I've had instances of this where I have heard music that wasn't playing and it often brings with it a message that is there to tell you something that you need to interpret. Now, there is also instances that you may have heard this, which is when you hear someone call your name, but there's no one there. Uh, or you hear, you swear you heard your phone ring and you didn't, but then by the time you get to your phone, it rings. So you heard it before it happened. So there can be those sorts of little snippets where you just get a touch of that clear audience in the physical realm. But again, it's not as common. Another way this can come through with your physical ears is if you're listening to music or the radio and you might be thinking, oh goodness, I don't know what I'm going to do about this issue I'm having. And there's a lyric in that song that perfectly gives you the answer just when you need it. Or you hear someone say something on the radio that is exactly what you needed to hear in that moment. Or my favorite, you might be thinking of a loved one in spirit and feeling a little bit sad that they're no longer with you and their favorite song comes on the radio. That, and I'm getting shivers right now, that's my clairsentience coming in. So that is usually a sign from spirit saying, we are here we're with you and that's their way of giving you a sign so it's really beautiful if you're getting those sorts of signs the other way is with our internal ears what does that mean so we all have an internal voice at least i do i did find out uh, recently that not everyone has quite what i have which is an internal running monologue 24 7 but we all have our inner thoughts now your inner thought space so that might be you know you're sitting there and go oh That voice in your head that you hear that is in your own voice, that's your internal thought voice system, okay? Now, with Claire Audience, it can come through in your own voice. It can be really tricky to decipher, did I think that or is that from my intuition? Is that a new thought that's been dropped into my head? This is where it can get a little tricky to distinguish and practice makes perfect. Meditation makes it even easier. So with Clair Audience, the number one thing you have to do is meditate. So all of the other psychic senses you can still develop without meditation. I think meditation helps with all of them, but Clair Audience especially. So when you are meditating, what you're doing is you are quieting your mind. You're not stopping your thoughts. You're just quieting them. And you might have a thought, oh, did I leave the oven on? Nope, just Put that aside, okay. And then gradually over time, you're going to develop a clearer sense of tone in your voice, in your head. Now, meditation, what that's helping you do is distinguish what your normal thoughts are like when you're calm and clear and that sort of thing. And what it does is it gets you so familiar with your own internal thought space 
that you recognize when someone drops a thought in. So maybe one of your guides on your spirit team drops in a little thought that says, call so-and-so. And you think, call so-and-so. Did I think that? No, I didn't because that's not how my thought space normally goes and you know to trust it. Okay, so meditation will really, really, really help you. Now we're going to go into some crystals and herbs that are going to help as well. So crystals and herbs that can help you with your clairaudience. Now, there's not a lot of information out there on this. There are tons out there for clairvoyance. And what I have found is people often presume clairvoyance means psychic abilities and they only term it by that. So most of the ones that you research that are going to say this is great for enhancing clairvoyance will also help your other clairs as well. It's just psychic abilities in general or intuition in general. So as I said last week, mugwort is a really great one. Again, disclaimer, if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, heart issues or on medication, you need to research and make sure there are no interactions. Now, one that is actually good for this is chamomile for your clear audience, okay? Because when you have anxious thoughts or when you have a racing mind, there's no space for intuitive hits through your clear audience. So to calm down, some chamomile tea is going to help you a lot. Clary sage is another good one. I prefer to use clary sage as an essential oil. Obviously, I'm not touching that at the moment because it can bring on labor, but clary sage in an oil diffuser is fantastic, especially when you are meditating. So give that one a go crystals. I believe our throat chakra and our clear audience are linked. They are your communication center and your ears are how we communicate and receive that information a lot of the time. Therefore, a lot of the throat chakra crystals, such as this one here, this is blue calcite. This is going to be really, really beneficial for opening up your clear audience. So I recommend you can meditate whilst holding this. Maybe purchase a pair of earrings that have blue calcite or turquoise or blue celestite as well. These are all really great crystals for opening up. Again, any, th uh, any crown chakra crystals are also going to help. That's your connection center. So that's your intuition center. So anything like rainbow moonstone uh, and also white quartz because that's an amplifier. And sometimes it's like we need to turn the dial up. So clear or white quartz is going to amplify and turn up that signal that you have in your mind to hear those clear audience meanings. Now for some exercises on developing your clear audience. So what I want you to do is once a day, take a moment, one or two minutes, just to focus on your hearing and what sounds you can hear. This is physical sounds with your ears. So that might be the whirring of a laptop in the background, the flickering of a candle, the sound of a plane overhead, the rustle of your bracelets as you move your hand, little things. Can you hear your heartbeat? Can you hear your hair move across your clothes? Little sounds that you don't often listen for. This is just telling the universe that you're starting to tune in a little bit more. Another one you can do is to start listening in to things you hear on the radio or things you hear in conversations as you walk past. What did that mean to you? Can you take that as a sign or something from your guides and say to them, hey guys, I'm working on my clear audience. Can you help me out, please? And thank you, I'm very grateful. Speak to your spirit team. There's nothing wrong with that. Let them know what you're wanting to achieve. They can't help you unless you ask for it. Also, what we're going to do is another little test today. Similar to what we did last time, I'm going to pull a card. But instead of focusing on what you can see with your clairvoyance or your mind's eye, I want you to focus on what you're hearing a little bit harder you may still see things and that's fine because ultimately we want to use all of our senses all the time okay so I'm going to hold this up and I want you to tune in do you hear a word is someone popping a little word into your head of you know the name of a color the name of a symbol and the name of an image are you starting to describe an image in your head now if you have aphantasia this type of exercise is probably more suited to you rather than trying to visualize trying to listen in so listen in to what's around you if you have a radio on in the background what is that saying is that giving you a sign so I'll give you a moment to tune in and I'm going to focus on this card and present that energy out to you guys in video land Okay, 
You can always pause the video if you need more time. Now, some of the things you may have heard is the number 41. The word sovereignty, moon, crescent moon, white, gold. This is the card. Now this is from Queen of the Moon Oracle. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. So this one, you may have heard woman, red hair, red lips. You may have heard, as I said, moon, gold, tunic, white, galaxy. There are a lot of words you may have heard to describe this card. It may have also been something about this that you may have got a different word. It might have been pure or power or something like that, that you may get when you now tune into this and go, I understand why I would have heard that, even though it's not super obvious in the card. So I hope this exercise helped you. I know you guys loved it last time. So let me know what you thought. As always, I love hearing from you guys how these exercises help you and how you're developing your own intuition as well. It's really, truly exciting to see you all blossom into your abilities. It's fantastic. So until next time, I'll chat to you later. Have a great day wherever you are in the world today. Mm -hmm.